Hey, Tyler here with Website Hosting Guides, and I'm going to show you real quick how to set up a Namecheap domain name on your GoDaddy hosting account. So you'll obviously need a GoDaddy account. Check out this link here, which is also below the video, to see what type of promotions are currently going on um, at GoDaddy. After you have that, log into your account and go to Visit My Account. Now we'll go ahead and ma click on Manage Web Hosting. Click Manage again to get into the uh, back end here. And now we're looking for the IP address, which is down here. So go ahead and copy the IP address. Now we'll go to Namecheap, log in, and go to Dashboard. Now that we have the dashboard set up, you can see the domain names down here. And we can just hover over this little house and click Advanced. DNS. So now as you can see here's our A record that it's currently pointing to. If you don't see this you can just click the add a new A record to add this information. If you do see this go ahead and update this IP address with the new one and click this little checkbox right here if I can get it right there to confirm. So now this domain name from Namecheap is pointing over to GoDaddy. Next we'll need to go back to GoDaddy and we're going to click hosted domains. So we want to add that domain name as an add-on domain in GoDaddy. So we'll click add domain and then we'll go ahead and type in the domain name here. And we'll put you know the folder as well and click OK. All right, so that's it. After you do that, the next thing you'll need to do is go ahead and install WordPress. Okay, as you can see, our domain name here is pending. This takes maybe 10 minutes sometimes. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back and show you how to set up WordPress. Okay, as you can see, the domain name is set up. Now we can go back to home. And that took, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. 8-10 minutes. So we'll go back to home and now we want to click applications and we'll click install WordPress. Now you just go ahead and pick the domain name that you know you need to use and go from there. So the rest is pretty easy. I hope that was helpful. If you're looking for the best host for your website check us out at websitehostingguides.com. You can take the quiz and it'll actually pull up the best hosting um, option for your website needs. So check this out. Reach out to us if you want any other hosting videos like this about any host and we'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day.